They say nobody walks in the City of Angels, but she had legs that went all the way down to the sidewalk and up the stairs to my office. She rolled inside like the morning fog, moist and mysterious, and a little bit chilly. The one look in her eyes, and I knew things would be heating up fast. I said, what do I call you? And she answered, Cherry Pops? Something told me it wasn't her real name. Then she started blubbering about some cool cat named Vincent who'd split the scene, leaving Cherry with a broken heart and the kind of deep aching void only a good private can fill. And the closer I got to my client Cherry, the deeper the mystery got. See, Cherry danced at a mobbed up Sunset Strip joint called the Smoking Barrel. And her boss, Tony, was the one and only son of Don Luciano. Capo de Tutti, Tutti de Capi de Tutti Fruity Capo de. What, he, he was the West Coast Cosa Nostra boss. And she was freaking bad. I'm um, sorry, where was I? Oh, right. Anyway, turned out Cherry's massive pendulous skills had come to the attention of Kim Bong and Jim Bong Sick, proprietors of an even shadier. L.A. Flesh Palace, known as the Twin Dragon. So when the Smoke and Barrel's top stripper disappeared one night, Tony Luciano knew just where to look. Don Luciano prized an eye for business above his son Tony's view of the world through the sights of his gun. He'd given him the nightclub to run to get him back on the high road. But Kim Bong Sick had kidnapped my client Cherry Pops, the only human Tony Luciano had ever warmed up to. And Tony couldn't even spell negotiation. All right, any one of you that speaks a word of English, tell them loopy twins you work for that I'm here for what's mine. Oh, did you hear me? I said, bring me Cherry Pops, or this Desert Eagle's gonna say it louder. One, two... Diplomacy and tolerance weren't numbered in Tony's talents. He liked to shoot first and ask, well, I just like to shoot. He wasn't much for questions. You hear me now? <laughs> Again with the hair, damn it. But for Tony, finding Cherry on his own called for stealth and deduction, and all Tony had were a lot of bullets. It's like they built mooks into the walls. Twin Dragon's main attraction was their famous mermaid show, but their star girl, Princess Neptuna, had run off with what she hoped was a prince. Anyway, the club was open only to its armed employees while they auditioned a new girl, and the auditions were tanking. Whoa, whoa. What kind of freaky joint is this? It's a natural. All right, you weirdo creeps. I want to see all your gun permits. Again!
fight up some bullets that we can. I need more hair gel. I love my hair. So let's get it on. It might be nice to have bullets in this thing. Uh, it never stops. Jerry! Give me a noise, baby, so I can get to where you are! Now I'm getting steep! <laughs> Give me a second to reload, I'm gonna put a hole in the man! <laughs> At least this dump has a bar. Shoot his face! You call that service? In my sight! He's here! Sign, huh? Yeah, you'd actually have to clean this place to get it. Wait! Ah, oh, madonna mia! Ah, oh, Christ. Ain't you heard of a courtesy flush? Ah! What are you looking at? Damn it. Jeez, I'm out. Oof. 
It smells like steamed vegetables in here. I got bigger fish to fry right now. Give me a second to reload, I'll give you a turn on. Oh, where'd all the use come from? Tenders, you got a real bad way about him. Ah, that's the ticket. Ha <laughs> ha! You think you can stop Tony Luciano? Damn it. Oh, keep it down, all right? Sword yeah. fight? Nah, she can't be down here. Cherry's strictly VIP. Tony was his father's biggest shame. Dim-witted, loud-mouthed, and hot-headed. 
He'd burned every bridge he crossed and a few for his family. But next to the Sick Brothers, Tony was an angel from above. Uh, well, I never went to one of them fancy lifeguard schools, but if you want out, I can get you out. <laughs> I never should have left politics! <laughs> All right then, nice to meet you. They got cabs right on the corner. That looks like where they take the quality notes. The sixth true origin was shrouded in mystery, but according to my number one informant, Jim Bong Sik had a rap sheet full of murder, craft, and theft, while his twin brother Kim Bong was feared from east to west as a killer of young and old and girls. <laughs> oh, so these are the real hard cases, huh? Ah, jeez. Ugh. There you are, Angel. My client, Cherry Pops, was the very definition of a femme fatale. Feminine and, you know, fatale. The kind of dame who inspired bloodshed and heartbreak, twisting men's hearts till their pockets were empty and their eyes were full of lust. Didn't matter if they were rich, powerful, even dangerous. In the end, they'd all spill their darkest secrets and beg for more. Tony? Whoa. You gotta be kidding me. Whoa. Hey, God! Fuck! Oh! <laughs> Poor guy. But thank God you're here, Tony. The Sikh Brothers' goons jumped me outside the smoking barrel just before my shift. I thought I'd never escape. Well, the day's still coming out of your check. So what's with the hardware? Is something wrong? It is something wrong. Ain't you heard the fire and smoke? While you were in here playing Dance Dance Revolution, I had to take out half the Pacific Rim trying to rescue you. Let's get out of here, sweet people. We got a sunset to ride on into. <laughs> 